Hey, what's up? This is Jackspot. I originally wasn't going to make a video on this, but some people have been having some issues with it, and I've had to update my phone like three or four times now because I keep screwing things up. That's what happens when you hack your phone as often as I do. But hey, it I mean, it brings good stuff to you guys, so whatever. And uh, so basically, here I am in the Zune software. You, here you can see my phone, uh, and it's currently on version uh, 7008. Uh, basically what happens and why this works is Microsoft, the Zune software contacts Microsoft servers and checks for updates and then sends another request to see whether or not your phone should get the update. And so if you can interrupt the connection when it's trying to check if your phone should get the update, then it'll just tell you the update's available. So uh, hopefully this will work the first time. So I'm going to click just linking so it goes back, click update so it's checking for your updates and about two or three seconds later disable it and there you go it says an update's available for my phone so I re-enable my network connection over here and if you're wondering how to get here this is in your network and sharing center and then click on uh, change adapter settings so right there in control panel and then um, just press update and uh, it'll ask you to confirm a couple stuff and then after you're done with this, you'll probably have to do it again to get Mango, but um, I'll show you that real quick. All right, so here we are on um, Noto. It just installed. Uh, well, actually, the update just after Noto for the uh, cer uh, security certificates. And here it says my phone's up to date. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing uh, I did before. And just keep in mind, this may take a couple of tries. Uh, one time it just wouldn't work for me. I gave up rage quit and all that and then uh, tried it again the next day and it worked if it doesn't work for you I mean keep keep a different pattern maybe try you know three seconds then two seconds some people say restarting your computer works I mean it a lot of its placebo but anyway um, so here we are back in the network connections and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again okay so update disable and see what it says and there we go, there's an update available for my phone, and that is the update just before Mango. And on my phone, when I install this, uh, it, it installs a second update after this called the Samsung update, and then next thing I know, I'm on Mango. So we'll just go ahead and do this real quick. And uh, read through all that. And as you can see, it says um, 7403. So that's not quite Mango, but it's in, on the way to it, and I'll just click Update. Okay, so here's a step that uh, you might need to pay a little attention to. On the Samsung Focus that I'm using, there is a Samsung update available. So um, after it installs this update, it's going to check for additional updates. So you can see here on my Samsung Focus, not only does it have the Samsung update right here, um, it also lists the update for Windows Phone 7720.68, which is the RTM build of Mango and so it's downloading that right now but um, your device should just automatically go from this stage to mango if it doesn't just follow the steps I showed you earlier and it should be fine um, and that's pretty much it it'll install the updates as usual do a backup probably and then uh, you should be good to go um, just real quick uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments uh, if you have any little secrets that make this a little easier because I mean it's really hit and miss, uh, then go ahead and let us know in the comments as well. But um, yeah, hopefully this works for you, uh, because I honestly don't feel like waiting three weeks for Mango to be officially released.